So how in the world did my client lose 30 pounds? Was it by eating kale? I have a client who actually is like, uh, will not eat kale. Oh. No, it wasn't by just eating kale. So, hey, I'm Denise Jelinek. I help women, uh, really of any age, stop overeating, get their food in check so that they can transform their life. I want to read to you a little bit about what this client said and then also what she did. So definitely stay tuned here. So she says, Denise is a gem to work with. Okay, thank you for that. She helps you dig into the weighty things, ah ha ha, and helps you remain focused on the task at hand. She challenges you and is equally encouraging, huh, nice, helping you remain on task and strive for new heights. What an incredible gift it was to work with her. Not only did I lose 30 pounds, but I gained a life skills to maintain the healthy, sustainable lifestyle. It was a challenge and worth every minute of it. Thank you, Denise. Okay. Um, well, you're welcome. Um, but I am not the one who did the work. So are you ready? So here's some things that you might want to see. Like, are you ready to do this? Hey, darling. How you doing, girl? Okay. So my guarantees when I work with somebody are three. Number one, I'll find what's been holding you back. Number two, I will show you how to get that out of your life. Number three, I will get you results if you choose to get that out of your life. And that's what this woman did. So what did she do? She showed up every week. Every week she showed up. And why is it important to show up every week? Because when you talk to your coach, when you talk to your trainer, when you talk to whatever, and you get that person who's helping you, and you're like, yes, I've got this, I've got this, I've got this. Your brain will run on, I've got this, I've got this, I've got this for about three to four days. After that, old patterns start to slip in. You guys have all done this. So it's very important to have that weekly connection with whoever is helping you. She showed up every week. She believed, number one, that she was worth it. You're not gonna show up every week unless you believe that you are worth it. So many women think, I don't wanna spend the money, I don't wanna spend the time, it'll take away from the family. Really? Really, because the truth is, is that when you become your best, you know you show up differently. And if you don't think you show up differently, how much nicer are you when you work out? How much nicer are you when you don't have the regret of like, oh, I can't believe I ate that last night. Oh, how much nicer and how do you show up in your marriage differently when you're feeling good about your body? So if you don't think you serve the world better by getting the crap out of your head so you can become your best, <sniffs> sorry, that's wrong. So she believed in herself that she was worth showing up. She made goals, she made challenging goals. Yes, she made goals. It wasn't like this, like we're just gonna keep talking. So we made goals, but not only goals, we said, what's it gonna take to meet those goals we made a plan. She made several plans. And one of the things about making plans is it's not just like, I make a meal plan and I'm done. No, no, we need to make plans like, hey, Friday night, okay, so I'm going to dinner Friday and this is what I'm going to order. She did the work to make the hard decision to look at the menu, choose what she's going to eat and stick with it. She took the time. She didn't just show up and trigger situations and be like, I hope I don't fall again. No, she had created the success spiral so that she supported and undid the sabotage stuff. And she also did the mental work to stay focused. And what that means is that you guys, you have A to B and something is blocking you. She did the work to say, what is that? We looked at it, I found it, we found it together, we took it out. Part of it is I'm not worth it. Part of it is I, need, okay, for example, sabotage behavior that happens. And if you guys ever find yourself in this situation, look at my lives, you'll see like how to, um, how to not go into a sabotage spiral when you are at a party or somebody makes you treats or whatever. So one of her beliefs was that if I don't order like the rest of the people, I'm not really contributing to the event. 
You know you've done that. You go to a restaurant, you're like, oh, I don't want to be the person who gets the salad. Everybody's going to say something to me. Okay, well, I want to remind you that you are the woman who gets to put your head on your pillow at night. And she took responsibility for the way that she was feeling. She also took responsibility for how she was contributing to her negativity. And that's what we do. And hey, no, no judgment at all. I mean, I have crap in my head that I have to work on daily. But we find where you are now, where you're going to go, and what's been standing in the way. Because you guys know it's not a lack of wanting and it's not a lack of knowing what to do, but like something keeps blocking you, sabotaging you, throwing you down. So once we take that block and turn it into a success spiral, we create the plan that supports the success spiral. Why? Because you've already decided you're worth it. You've already decided, dang, I am tired of living this way. I am tired of waking up feeling regret, feeling remorse, being like, oh, my pants are still tight. In fact, I don't even wear pants anymore. I'm just in yoga pants all day because they look pretty good. And I really like that compression at the top. Okay, so the point is, is that that's like contribute to your sabotage or can contribute to your sabotage. Remember my guarantees are we find what's broken, what's blocking you, we take it out, you get results but you have to show up. You have to do the work. And that's what she decided. Number one, I'm worth it. Number two, I'm up for the challenge. Because it's funny, because if you watch some of the other lives, you're gonna be like, oh, wait, huh, well that makes sense. See how this other people feel responsible for, like for example, the woman that I did yesterday, the woman was like, people bring her food. And she feels like she should she really feels like she's responsible for making them comfortable. Like, oh, hey, yeah, thank you for bringing me food that I don't wanna eat and I feel regretful for and triggers me to spiral off my goals and I hate going to work every day because she was working in like a catering situation where they brought food to her. And once we dug into that, that sabotage spiral and the root of it was her feeling responsible for other people's feelings, and I could ask her, well, if you're responsible for their feelings, who's responsible for yours? And she's like, oh, I am. So you can see that the work we do is super, super, super easy. That's not true. I wouldn't say that. It's just like, wow, not as big of a deal. What we ended up doing with that woman was coming up with a script and a plan so that she could be on success. So the question is, when you look at what I do, which is what, let me, let me, my question is who worked harder? Okay. Who worked harder for this woman to lose 30 pounds? Denise, who found what was blocking her, helped her remove it, supported her to get results because you're going to go like this, right? And you're going to want to give up because your brain's already done that. Nope. Nope. We're always going to keep moving forward. So was it Denise or the woman who showed up every single week? made the plans, worked the plans, did all of the brain work. She worked hard. So the question really is, if you want to lose 30 pounds or 10 pounds or I don't know, whatever the magic number is, are you ready? Like, because that's the piece that you have to do. You have to show up for yourself. Number one, number one. What I do is I remove the blocks. I get you there faster. And when you do this stuff, I keep making sure that you're moving up and not falling back, because there's gonna be this. You know that. So listen, if you, A, are a one-on-one -on -one kind of person and you wanna talk about if you're ready, that's cool, but I also have a 12-week group that starts uh, in under two weeks. Get on the wait list, the link is above, and you will learn exactly what this woman has learned, and you'll have that weekly accountability. Remember, why weekly? Because your brain's gonna work about three to four days and you're gonna have all that motivation, and then you're gonna be like, oh, you're gonna be hit with something. Hit with something that can knock you back. I don't want you to fall. Come back every week. We'll make that happen for you. All right, I'm Denise Jelinek, and uh, I help women like get to where they wanna go by taking out whatever's keeping them back. 
Have a blessed day and I will see you next time.